Bakugan Project is currently in alpha testing and I still don't have access to the game. But I want to give a huge shout out to Klepto for allowing me to use his videos to make more content. So if you haven't already, head over to his channel and hit the subscribe button and turn the bell notifications to all. He also does live streams which is something I don't do on my channel so if you'd like to see live streams you should definitely check his channel out. When you log into Bakugan Project for the first time you'll be welcome to a character creation screen. You can customize your gender, skin color, hair, eye shape, and your outfit. Along with all these options you'll also have full control over the colors you'd want to use, which gives everyone a chance to make a unique character and really separate yourself from the other players. Now this is Klepto's footage so this is all I have available for character creation, but once the beta testing starts I'll do a deep dive into character creation, to really show you how creative you guys can get when making your own character. So once you've made your final adjustments and feel content with how your character looks, it's finally time to choose your main attribute and what Bakugan you'll be starting with. The first three options are Robotalian, Falconeer, and Fear Ripper. Once you choose from these three, it'll give you more Bakugan to choose from, which include Ravenoid, Garganoid, and Reaper. After making that tough decision, the final three Bakugan available will be Monoris, Saurus, and Laser Man. Once you got your three Bakugan selected, you'll move on to your gate cards. Your last gate card will be a character card. These will be the determined by the Bakugan you chose. They all double that specific Bakugan's G power so it's really up to you and your preference on which one you choose. After all of that, you'll be out in the city ready to challenge other brawlers you come across. There was also a really detailed starter guide created by Joga, so if you're interested in reading through that, I'll leave it in the description down below, along with the Bakugan Project Discord server. Before we break down how battles work, let's get the shop mechanics out of the way. What you see in the shop will be randomized, that includes Bakugan and cards. The shop will rotate after you purchase something or after a certain amount of time if nothing is purchased. This isn't too bad, but at the same time when shops are set up this way, it can get frustrating trying to find a specific Bakugan or card you're looking for. It wasn't specified how long it takes the shops to reset, but if it's like 5 or 10 minutes, it wouldn't be too bad. Me personally, I like to have the full shop available with no wait time, but I'm pretty sure there's a reason for this. On top of this game being online, you can find your friends walking around and even invite them to your party. You can also challenge other parties to double battles and NPCs around the map as well. This will definitely be a fun feature and can improve your team chemistry with friends by practicing these types of battles. If you already know the basics of Bakugan battles, you'll know that everyone starts off by selecting a gate card and setting it on the field. After that it's pretty simple to get the hang of. You'll take turns throwing your Bakugan on the gate cards and trying to outsmart your opponent with your own strategy you come up with. Also in this game instead of capturing 3 gate cards to win, the goal is to defeat all of your opponent's Bakugan before they're able to take out all 3 of yours. Once you lose a Bakugan in a fight, you won't be able to use it for the rest of the match. I like these rules better than the actual game that was released, because not only does it stay true to the show, it also makes double battles, triple battles, and even battle royales harder to win, especially when you have to actually defeat every Bakugan instead of capturing just 3 cards. Something to mention about how your deck will work, you will have a total of 5 gate cards and 10 ability cards to choose from. You get a random set of cards at the start of a battle and will be able to draw cards throughout the fight. This is really important because you'll have to set up a really good deck of cards to guarantee success no matter what combination of cards you start off with. You'll also be able to help your team by using ability cards to support them if they need it. Another thing that caught my eye is you and your party members can throw Bakugan on the same cards without the use of ability cards. This definitely adds a whole new depth to everyone's strategy when doing double battles or or triple battles. It may seem pretty overpowered to just 2v1 everyone, but you could also use trap gate cards to do a 2 for 1, so it'll be interesting to see what strategies people come up with. After you win or lose to your opponent, it'll pop up a screen where it shows your level, how much HSP you gained, if your rank went up or down, win and loss record, and how long the match was. This also shows what level your Bakugan are, and I believe every level your Bakugan gains 10 Gs. Something interesting that we all got to see recently was triple battles. In the show this happened before when Klaus, Chan Li, and Julio challenged the battle brawlers. So it's a nice touch to have the first triple battle in the game with the same characters. Triple battles play out the same as every other battle, it's just a lot more fun when you get all the extra cards involved. These battles will definitely be on the top of my list when I finally get to play. This type of battle with multiple players is bound to get super hectic. 
It's only a matter of time before we can all enjoy the unique brawls this game has to offer. Like I said before, this game is still in alpha stages until most of the bugs have been fixed. But the good news is, the beta will be starting soon. So if you want to get into the beta test, you'll either have to buy the Patreon, which I will link in the description down below, or be active and be added in after all the Patreon members. When this game releases, it'll be 100% free, so if you'd rather wait, there's no harm in doing so. The Patreon's just to support the Baku dev, and it allows you to play the game game before everyone else. That's about everything I can cover for you guys so far. Hopefully the beta starts real soon so I can continue to make future content on Bakugan Project. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Also, if you made it this far, leave a comment down below telling me what Bakugan you're most excited to use. And most importantly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button or bell notification. It'll inform you guys when I drop videos like these so you can be the first ones to see them. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.